program. Jimmy Rave himself in the ring one-on-one against Kyle Matthews with fans around the ring with other belts. Here's Jimmy Rave as he brings out Mike Posey. Our opening match, Mike Posey, and it's going to be a tremendous contest. We'll be waiting for Mikey Valentine to come out in just a moment, but right now, Jimmy Rave approved team is in the ring, but you have to wonder, is Jimmy Rave focused on this match with Mike Posey in the ring against Frankie Valentine, or is he preoccupied with what's coming up in just a few short minutes in our main event? Kyle Matthews, Jimmy Rave, 10 fans around the ring with belts. Absolutely, that's a whole other take on the Canadian Lumberjack match. The Lumberjacks are those belts and they're being held by fans that will be on this program. And by the way, live action tonight, if you're watching on February 19th, Saturday night, February 19th, back live at Johnny G's Fun Center. Don't miss the action. Bring grandma, grandpa. The crowds have been overflowing. We're excited to have you here as part of Rampage Pro Wrestling. Another great hour. We got Jeremy Vane, the TV champion, defend the title on this program as well. And here comes his opponent right now, who made his return just a few short weeks ago, it and it's an impressive and return at that. Victorious in his last match, Frankie Valentine. Pounds. Please welcome and very Frankie appropriate because we Valentine. just had Valentine's Day this week. Ah, very good. It's all making sense now, isn't it? It's all coming back to me now, as some of the young ones say. Well, Frankie Valentine in the ring. Jimmy Rave approved Mike Posey and Rave himself head outside the ring for a little consultation. I'm not sure the Valentine that Frankie has uh, planned to give Mike Posey is one that he would like to receive. It may be a gift that keeps on giving. And once again, that third element at ringside, Jimmy Rave. Jimmy Rave uh, always liking uh, to uh, distract his man's opponents, and uh, certainly Frankie Valentine has great fan support. And Mike Posey, a man who uh, came in and tried to fool the fans into thinking he was a fan favorite, and uh, the whole time a setup by Jimmy Rave. And now you see a very smart move by Mike Posey stepping out of the ropes to call a break uh, before my, uh, Frankie Valentine could even get his hands on him. Well, clearly Mike Posey, a highly conditioned athlete, as is Frankie Valentine. Two guys who spent considerable time in the gym. Posey may actually have the greater experience out here, given his tenure in World Wrestling Entertainment, TNA, and uh, his travels as a professional wrestler. But Frankie Valentine, no rookie at all, an experienced veteran of the Georgia Wrestling Wars. Absolutely. The referee Dustin Robinson, a veteran referee here at Rampage Pro Wrestling. Certainly uh, a man who very familiar with Jimmy Rave and probably the best referee for a Jimmy Rave approved man because he knows what to expect from Jimmy Rave and Frankie Valentine that time. Enough is enough and pounding away in the corner. Arm whip now reversal by Posey up and over leapfrog. Went for another and inverted atomic knee drop. Taught him. Well, he really didn't get the height necessary on that second one. Really wasn't in position for it. He was trying to go up a second time. Only got part way up and didn't enjoy what happened on the way down. Got to remember, there's a lot of history as Frankie Valentine looks at it. Jimmy Ray between Frankie Valentine and Kyle Matthews. Once a great tag up and over there. Slingshot plancha to the outside. Valentine on Mike Posey. A lot of history between Frankie Valentine and Kyle Matthews, a former great tag team here in Rampage Pro Wrestling. So I'm sure that Frankie Valentine is looking forward to watching that main event match, but is, uh, he's right now concentrating on one of the approved members, Mike Posey, and it looks like he could have him. Oh, close. They were what's known as the RPW Wrecking Crew, and they did wreck a lot of tag teams, and now as uh, singles competitors, certainly equally uh, as dangerous, and he has that arm barred, and it's great to know that Kyle Matthews has someone on his side, and you find a man like Jimmy Rave, you've got uh, three other men still in the direction. Well, Posey tried to stall and delay by putting himself outside the ring. It didn't leave anywhere good for him because it's led right into Frankie Valentine having full control of this match so far. Posey hasn't really been able to mount much of any offense at this point in the match. Oh, but right there, catches him in the chin with the top of the head, but that seemed to stun Posey too. But there just paintbrushes him with a boot. Going to the outside, he's got his back turned. That's not a good idea as Valentine's able to uh, force him down hard on the uh, top turnbuckle and a punch right there. 
Posey glad, rocking at the top. Glad to be here on Fox 24, back from we belong, 9 a.m. on Saturday mornings as well. That's Tops Communications and My41 TV. Be sure to keep him uh, watching us each and every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on Fox. And that time, took that arm and not only draped it, but all the way down to the floor, you know. That could have pulled out of the soccer right there. Very much so. We're hoping that uh, our fans that have been watching us on Cox Communications, the My Network TV, uh, will continue to watch there, but also uh, take the opportunity to return to Fox, where at one time Rampage Pro Wrestling, the highest rated uh, syndicated program on the station, now returning by the demand of uh, the great people at Fox. Absolutely, and there has that arm locked and that wrist. Pressure being applied, roll up by Posey, escape. Valentine now firing back, Posey shoots him off, and caught him there with a Flip and that time caught. Tried to sunset flip him to slam that wrist down the canvas. Good step over and hooking that arm, winging him and controlling the arms now of Frankie Valentine. Good counter there by Mike Posey earlier. He had sort of telegraphed earlier in that. Looked like Frankie Valentine was going to be able to get an advantage, but Posey able to get that somewhat injured arm compromised and now he's got that key locked and is holding it with the top wrist lock. Breaks it there as Valentine gets free, but a beautiful drop kick there. Mike Standing Posey. drop kick and hooks the leg, covers a metal press, two count. One time at TNA Wrestling, he was known as drop kick Posey. Well, shows you right there why. From standing position, beautiful drop kick, and now taking that arm, draping it, and kicking that rope to bounce off that arm. Now drapes him over that top rope, hanging upside down, Valentine. They call it a tree of woe for a reason. And this is the reason. All that blood rushing to the head, and uh, he doesn't even want to stay in that position for too long. Referee's telling for a break as he is winging that arm once again, continues to work on the wrist and arm. Referee needs to actually get in there and try to try to uh, extricate that leg right there from it. Well, actually, Posey helps him out of that, takes him down, having already done the damage. Now goes outside in with a leg drop, nicely coordinated there, and a predicament, but not enough. Great maneuvering by Posey. And again, controlling the arms. He's got that arm winging and runs that shoulder right into the bottom turnbuckle. And now takes him down and again flips open the arm and that wrist is locked. Applies the pressure with the bridge. And oh. Jimmy Rave at ringside trying to cheer his man on. And you can see the strain right there in the musculature of Mike Posey as he wrenches back that arm of Frankie Valentine while putting the pressure with the back on the full bridge there, making it hard for Valentine to do anything. And now right back in, hooks that leg, hurts that arm and keys it again, and he's got control of him. Now locking that arm, and Valentine trying to put an escape here. Certainly in a predicament at the hands of Mike Posey. Posey came in. Uh, right away trying to tie these arms up wear down these arms of valentine fans are chanting and now valentine trying to break a headbutt there not enough another headbutt finally he lets go and oh and an insiguri right there didn't catch all of it but caught enough of it posey down there's the cover and not enough he's uh, been so dazed from all of that working on the arms and shoulders and the wrist that time snaps him over by the wrist had to hurt well, and, he had to, and he had to go with that. Saw him whip him over like that, almost like it looked like a judo move. But really, in that particular case, if Valentine didn't go, imagine the damage that would have been done to that already injured arm. And now he's right back on it. But now instead of keying it just with the arm, he's keying it with the leg. And the legs are much stronger than the arms. And notice that Posey keeps trying to lock that other arm, that free arm. Rolls through. Good move there. Penny predicament. And Posey, once again in control, maintains that lock on the arm. And again, good escape by Valentine, rolls him to a pin, and again, moves him back over by Posey. Well, Posey has a lot of pressure in, but by tying up the leg the way he does, he doesn't really have the leverage he should to keep the man down, but he's putting a lot of damage in. But there's a kick to the head, another kick to the head. Good move there by Valentine, getting free. Posey up, insecurity of his own, and caught him right in the side of the face. And he goes face down, and now close to the ropes, covers him, two count. Not enough, Valentine still has a little fight left in him. Kick to the back right from. there. And now he's hooking the arm again, taking advantage of that injury. Referee toss for a break again, and that kick. And Mike Posey doing exactly what he's been instructed to do by Jimmy Rafe. Get rid of another one of Kyle Matthews' friends. And that would be exactly what would uh, be approved by Jimmy Rafe, I'm sure. And he's got that leg hooked right there. Great by Thank 
and drops back, snapping the arm backward in the process. Nowhere for Frankie Valentine to go, and he needs to get out of this as quickly as he can. That arm has taken a ton of damage, Ben. Absolutely, and notice how he bridges over and pulls back with all his body weight on that already injured arm, and you see the excruciating pain across the face of Frankie Valentine. The pressure is almost too much here. The fans are still rallying behind here. Valentine now trying to fire back with that free arm again, pounding away on Mike Posey. Posey lets go, that time got him again and drops down to the arm. Modified DDT, but this time on the arm, and just as deadly as the normal DDT on the head, putting tremendous pressure back on that same body part, and Frankie Valentine has been worse for wear for the balance of this match at this point. He's got Valentine twisted into a pretzel here, and obviously the pain is just enormous. Uh, as Valentine tries to figure an escape, certainly that leg strength will come in handy, and that one arm that he has left, the only thing he has to fight with, back to his feet, and again throwing that right hand, another punch, and pounding away now, and Posey lets go, hard chop! That time with that injured arm, and that has to hurt Valentine as well. Well, no, actually, I, th I think he's using the right. Oh, he is using like, the right arm, yes. Looks like the left is the one that was, oh, but right there, Russian leg sweep, and he floats over, and he's got him hooked, those legs. Posey able to power out. Now Posey's up off the ropes, stops in mid-motion, and catches him. Sets him up, takes him down. Devastating maneuver right there, and he's got him hooked. This should, no, the not. Double hook off the ropes, and now Posey upset. And Rave as well, that the referee not counting faster. Certainly, uh, the referee not on the payroll of Jimmy well, Rave. Speaks to the skill of Frankie Valentine, who there behind rolls him up, has him hooked, has him, takes him through. Jimmy Rave grabs a hold of him at that point, and Valentine going after Rave. And there's no love loss between those two. Oh, right around. His back inside Cradle Small Package here. One, two, three, and the distraction of Jimmy Ray proves victorious for his man, Mike Posey. And I don't think referee Dustin Robinson had really gotten his eyes focused on the action. He was still preoccupied with Jimmy Ray because clearly that was a low bow by Mike Posey that caused that pinfall victory. Nothing to be uh, proud of right there for the Jimmy Rave approved team, victory or not. Well, you know, they want that win-loss column to say check on the win side, and that's what Jimmy Rave wants to do. But you gotta say, a man like Frankie Valentine, what a fighter, fighting with one arm most of that match. And I guarantee you, Dustin Robinson, when he sees tapes of this, is gonna regret his momentary distraction at that moment, because he should have disqualified Mike Posey right there and awarded the match to Frankie Valentine. But that's not the way it's gonna read in the record books. We'll be back in just a moment with the RPW TV title on the line. Your champion, Jeremy Vane, is coming up next. 